This is Chappy with Intense, and uh, on today's edition of Tech Tutorials, we're going to go through just the basic um, maintenance of our Enduro Lower Link, which you'll find featured on the carbine you see here, and also our tracer. So for this, we're going to need just a few tools. We're going to need a 5mm T-handle, a torque wrench with a 5mm bit, an 8mm bit. And then lastly, we are going to need an additional 5 mil, which I prefer a Y wrench. So to get this started, we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the 5 millimeter Allen bolt out of the conical washer of the lower link pivot axle. So if your conical washer is uh, stuck in the pivot axle a little bit, uh, pretty common, the easiest way to remove it is take the tip of your 5mm Allen, just pop it in there and just give it a little, a little nudge and it'll break it free. So next we're going to take our 8mm T-handle, break our pivot axle free. It's always good to, to remove all torque before retorquing. This gives us a nice accurate measurement. So we're going to set our torque wrench with our 8mm bit to 7 newton meters which we are currently at. Put that puppy in there. We're just going to give it until it clicks. I'm going to give it one more click, make sure we're all good to go. So there we have retorquing of the pivot axle. And then now we'll move on to the reinstallation of the conical washer and the bolt. Again, just slide that puppy back in there. For this, we're just going to tighten it till snug. Then we're going to come back with our torque wrench and our 5 millimeter Allen bit. We're going to reset the torque wrench to, to 11 newton meters. I'm going to torque this puppy down right here. So just simple. Go until we, we hear our first click. More click. Good to go. So that's the retorque of the pivot axle, lower pivot. Next step, now that we have the lower pivot axle torqued and ready to go, we're going to remove the crank arm in order to get to the front pivot axle. So using your eight millimeter T-handle, it's going to this guy turn. Pop that off, set it off to the side. Same thing goes for the drive side crank arm. Not offset it to the side as well. Make sure you do not lose this, this bearing spacer right here. There's a lip seal on it and it's important for reinstallation. So now that that's off, you can go ahead and take our 5mm T-handle and our 5mm Y wrench. And we're going to loosen our pivot axle in preparation for retorque. Right. So we're going to come back with our torque wrench set at 20 newton meters and a 5 millimeter allen tip and our 5 millimeter y wrench. Using the torque wrench on the drive side, which is where the shoulder bolt is located, we are going to hold the pivot axle non-drive side with the y wrench. We're going to torque tighten until we hear a click. And there we go. So there is the, the front lower pivot axle as now properly torqued. Now we can move on to the last step of this and we're going to reinstall the crank arm. Slide that back in there. I'm going to throw our bearing cap back on here. It's keyed so it's, it'll only go on one way. Make sure lips, lip seals are facing inwards. Take our crank arm, make sure that it's in line with the drive side crank arm. Somewhat important when you want to actually pedal your bike. All right. We're going to go till just snug on that and then we're going to come back with our torque wrench. Just going to give this a little go until you hear that click. All right, so now our, now our crank arms are installed and torqued. Slide the chain back on the chain ring, unlock the derailleur, 
that fall in place. And there you have it. There's uh, your basic maintenance for your lower link on your carbine or your tracer. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Chappie with Intense. Um, today's edition of Tech Tutorials, we're gonna walk through the process of um, service on the Enduro lower link. All right, so here we have our carbine. Um, drive side out is the easiest point of access for our lower link. Um, so for the carbine and the tracer alike for the Enduro link, we're gonna use a five millimeter Allen Another five millimeter Allen, but I like to use a Y wrench, easiest. And we will also need an eight millimeter Allen. And a torque wrench with both a five millimeter Allen and eight millimeter Allen. First step, we're gonna remove the rear wheel. Using our five millimeter Allen, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, conical washer out of here. If it's a little tight like it is here, a simple solution is just take the tip of your five millimeter Allen, give it a little pop, it'll free it up, and you just uh, assemble it ready for installation later. And then from the drive side we're going to take our five millimeter Allen, turn it clockwise in order to remove the axle from the non-drive side. And pull your wrench out, and pull your axle out. And then go ahead, just so we don't have too many parts over on the table, throw the rear axle back in there. I like to remove the chain just to just set it off to the side. We don't need to take it all the way off the bike. Right, so after removing the rear wheel, we're gonna move along and remove the, uh, the crank arm from the bottom bracket. So same, we're going to use the 8mm T-handle. Head pull the cranks off. Anytime you pull any components off a bike, it's always a good, uh, good idea to, to clean and re-lube all contacting surfaces. Step is we're going to go ahead and remove the 5mm Allen using our T-handle out of the conical washer in the pivot axle. So again, if the, the conical washer is locked in place, you can use the tip of your five millimeter Allen. Just give it a little pop and it, it'll, it uh, will come right out. And then again with our eight millimeter, come in and remove the lower pivot axle. When pulling the pivot axle out, just be aware that the bearing caps are floating inside. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those before they drop on the floor and get dirty. So you got bearing caps in our pivot axle. I'm gonna set those aside and we're gonna clean those for later installation. Using our five millimeter T-handle and our, our uh, Y wrench. I'm going to go ahead and remove the front lower pivot axle. So it's nice and free. Go ahead and pull the shoulder bolt. Set our Y wrench aside and our shoulder bolt with the rest of our small parts. And then we're going to pull our pivot axle out. And again, be cautious of the small spacers that are right behind the lower link. Put some pivot axle out. All right, so now that we have our lower link out of the bike. We're gonna go ahead and check all bearings and we're also gonna clean and inspect everything. I'm gonna go ahead and check the bearings, make sure they move nice and free. If they start to feel a little cruddy and they're tight and rough, um, we offer service and repair kits on our website and it's a complete kit so it'll have all four bearings and it'll also have a crush tube for the uh, for the rear pivot. So after we get this clean, 
we are going to start the reinstallation process. I'm going to set the link aside and then final prep of the frame actually. So we're going to make sure all contacting surfaces are nice and clean, free of dirt and grease. Don't want to have any squeaks or creaks out on the trail, so this is an important step. All right, so now we've got uh, our lower link for our carbine, as you see here. Um, we are going to start the prep for reinstallation. So just take your favorite grease. I prefer white grease from Pedro's for any bearing contact surfaces. Um, seems, to, seems to do the job pretty well. So we're going to take a little bit of that grease, some dabs, make sure all the contacting surfaces of the lower rear pivot are coated well. Take our bearing caps that have been previously cleaned and ready for reinstallation. And with that grease on there, it'll uh, actually kind of hold it on like glue. So make for easy reinstallation. All right, so that, the link is ready to go. So now we're gonna go to our pivot axle spacers and prep for these guys, kind of the same as the bearings, but instead of on the bearings, we're gonna put it on the hardware. Again, not super necessary, but these are the little things that just kind of make life a little easier when you go for a reinstallation. Now, you can take those spacers and simply grease facing surface towards the bearing on the inside edge and just place them in there and the grease will hold it just kind of like glue like on the other bearing cap. And that, flip it over, same thing. Slide that in there and we're gonna take our lower link Orient it like this as it would sit in the bike and we're going to turn it at a 90, slide it over the seat tube and just simply turn it into place. Slide it over pivot hole and it'll, it should hold itself in place there. We're going to take our pivot axle, like so, just line it up, give it a nice little tap. So we're going to take our shoulder bolt as you see here in our five millimeter Y wrench, we're going to get the shoulder bolt started on the drive side. And then we're going to take our Y wrench and continue tightening the bolt. All right. And this particular bolt, we will torque to 20 Newton meters. So taking our torque wrench and our five millimeter Allen key using the torque wrench on the shoulder bolt side, which should be located on the drive side of the bike. We're going to hold the non-drive pivot axle with the Y wrench and we are going to torque it to 20 Newton meters. Give two clicks, that's all you need. Since our bearing caps are still in place with the, uh, with the grease holding it, we're going to slide the rear back down to the lower link Line it up, take your pivot axle, slide it on in. Next, we're gonna take our eight millimeter T-handle. Thread this baby in until snug. So we're gonna take our torque wrench in our eight millimeter Allen tip. We're gonna set our torque wrench to seven Newton meters. Go until we hear a click. Second click and then we're good to go. So next we're gonna take our five millimeter T-handle and we're gonna take our conical washer and our bolt. Get that bad boy started in there. Same thing, we're gonna go till snug. We're gonna come back with our five millimeter Allen tip on our Torx wrench. And we're gonna up it to 11 Newton meters. Click, click, all right. And the link installation is complete. Now we're gonna move on to reinstalling the crank. So obviously, drive side, chain ring on the drive side. Slide that in there. Be sure to put our uh, little rubber seal on the non-drive side. Make sure seal lip is facing in. Slide that over. And take our crank arm and our eight millimeter Allen. We're gonna get that started. Take care to make sure that the cranks are obviously parallel in line with each other. 
It's using our torque wrench and our eight millimeter tip. And then come back and torque our crank arm. Just go to get two clicks like so. And then come back through, put the chain back on the chain ring. And then we are going to pull the axle out. Back, grab your rear wheel. Slide this puppy right back in there. It's like so, making sure the chain is on the lowest chain, chain ring on the cassette. And then we're gonna slide our axle in. Always be sure to get it started by hand before you put a wrench on it. it just prevents any cross threading. So we're gonna take our five millimeter T-handle and we're gonna go in on the drive side through the derailleur cap. We're going to tighten the rear axle. We're gonna come back with a torque wrench to here two clicks. So go to two clicks. Perfect. All right, and there you have it. Reinstallation, service, and maintenance of your Enduro lower link.